Good afternoon. A good Erev Shabbos. I hope you're having a great day. So everyone's been watching with unease, with pain, the demonstrations in Israel, the march on the right the, to change judicial things, the march on the left all over Israel. Our nation is so divided. There's so much animosity. And as we all know, the greatest danger to us today is from within, not without. And I think it comes at a good and opportune time that this Shabbos is a special Shabbat and Shul. First of all, blessing the new month of Adar. It's a time to increase in our joy, to be happy, to be positive. But we also read a second Torah portion, which is a portion of Shkalim, which is really the Torah portion of Kitisa, which will happen in three weeks on Shabbat, where God commands the Jewish people that they should, each Jew should give machatzit shekel, a half a coin, for charity to support the Bedek Abayis, to support the upkeep of the temple and the, and the sacrifices, etc., etc. And the question is twofold. First of all, if God wanted to count the Jewish people, why count them by the coin they give? And the second question is, why specifically a half a coin? Why not a whole coin? What's the significance of a half a coin? And the Rebbe, in one of his talks, speaks about something very powerful. The first thing is like this. The reason why God wanted every single person to give and to be counted by how they give is because if you talk about the Jewish people, and as Moses tells us in Deuteronomy, Ki atem amin. we are a small nation, the smallest of all. We, we're less than the, the, mar, the margin of error in the census in China. We're, we're an insignificant amount of numbers. But if you count us by our contribution, if you look at what we've given to the world, from medicine, to economics, to Nobel Prizes, or as... Thomas Cahill says in his book, The Gift of the Jews, you can't cross the street without encountering the gift of the Jewish people, the civilization, the gift of the Jewish people to the United States of America, if it's judicial, if it's, if it's in, in how we have our morals, our values, monotheism. So the Torah says that the way you count is not by physical numbers, but it's what you give what you accomplish, what you will contribute to the world, which is such an important lesson. But then the Rebbe says something else. That's why you have to give, but why a half a coin? Says the Rebbe, there's two things here. First of all, the Torah is telling us that a human being has to be humble and has to realize that on his own, he's only a half. Without another human being, without the other fellow Jew, he's incomplete, he's a half. You think about the right, about the left, this one is saying enough of the ultra right, they are extreme and some of them don't work and what do they contribute to the com- country? And this one's saying, what for the left? They're so secular, they don't care about God and they don't, want, they don't want our country, they want to give it all away. We have to recognize that in order to have a country, in order to have our homeland, we need to realize that we're only a half. And to complete us, we need the other half. If you think about the other two times the Jewish people had their own sovereign land in Israel, both times we were expelled. It was because from within we couldn't get along. At the end of the day, what God's telling us with the machtes hashekel is that you need to recognize that you're only a half and to be a whole, you need to look across the aisle. So yeah, you say, what does the other side give? What is the other side? Why are they important to our nation? That's what makes us complete. And the second thing is, to those on the left and the secular, and they say, who needs God and religion? The Machsit HaShekel comes to teach us that a human being, a Jew, without God is only half. He needs God to complete him, to complete her. You know, not everyone has, is religious. Not everyone is going to keep Shabbat. Not everyone, maybe it's kosher. But to have the holy land of Israel, the land that God gave it to us, and to succeed there, we need God. We need to invite Him in, not chase Him out. We need to embrace God and religion with love and recognize that when we bring God in and we think about the other on the other side, then we get 
a whole Jew, a whole country, a country that contributes to the world in numbers beyond anyone's wildest imagination. So may Hashem take us that as we go to this Shabbat Shkalim, that we recognize to be humble, not arrogant, to be kind and sensitive, to realize that on our own we're only a half and we need to embrace the other side. We don't have to agree on everything. We don't have to give in on everything. But we need to listen. We need to embrace. And we need to know that we need them to enhance our country. And the truth is the same is true in America for us American Jews and for us American people. We're constantly bickering. It's either my way or the highway. That leaves you incomplete. That leaves you unsuccessful. And that leaves us with no way ahead for our country. Shabbat Shalom. And if you're in town, we hope to see you on Shabbat. And hopefully together with the others, you'll be not a half but a whole by being with other Jews and by being with God, praying together. Shabbat Shalom.